Hi, my name is Parker Lewis. I'm a rising senior at Princeton University in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering. This summer, I've been given the opportunity to be in the Summer Undergraduate Research at Florida program, or SURF. Through this program, I've been gaining experience in nanoparticle research in Dr. Carlos Rinaldi's lab in the Chemical Engineering Department. Throughout this experience, my PhD mentor has been Maitre Uni. Her research focuses on developing therapies with targeted nanoparticles, and she's won several awards and distinctions in the department. Because of her guidance, I was able to achieve a highly productive and in-depth research experience. And because of my social skills, we became fast friends along the way. The overall goal of my project was to gain insight into developing a tracer for MPI, which stands for Magnetic Particle Imaging. Similar to MRI, MPI is an in vivo imaging system, which instead images magnetic particles in the body. This gives it a higher sensitivity and no depth attenuation from tissue, resulting in high quality in vivo images. The tracer I have been working with is a Magnetic Composite Nanocarrier, or MCNC. This tracer encapsulates iron oxide nanoparticles in a membrane that can be fitted with cell targeting attachments, allowing for specific in vivo MPI imaging of certain cell populations, such as tumors. A great model to describe an MCNC would be an egg. An egg is perfect to describe an MCNC because it's got all these essential components. So it's just a thin membrane. It... This drawing of an MCNC is the perfect way to model an MCNC. An MCNC is comprised of an amphiphilic block copolymer, which forms the outer membrane, iron oxide nanoparticles, which give the MC magnetic properties, and a homopolymer, which stabilizes and tightens the MCNC. One objective of this project was to determine whether FNP encapsulation of iron oxide nanoparticles would increase or decrease MPI resolution. The other was to determine the effects of varying the concentrations of MCNC building blocks prior to FNP on the MCNC diameter after FNP. So what do we find out? Well, uh, it turns out that encasing I1Ps as MCNCs has no significant effect on MPI resolution. Additionally, increasing homopolymer concentration or block or I1P concentration relative to block polymer concentration will increase MCNC diameter. Both these findings imply that MCNCs can potentially be used as MPI tracers and that they have nuanced size control. And that is what I've been up to this summer. In the fall, I plan on pursuing my PhD at UF in chemical or biomedical engineering. But anyways, thanks for watching.